Caroline, congratulations. Um, I'm sure getting up and running quickly, but also with the weather today was probably a nice thing for you. Yeah, for sure. At the beginning of the match, I was pretty tight the last, uh, the first uh, six, seven games, and then I was able to, to break. Um, so it relaxed me a little bit. You know, it's first round of, uh, of the first slam of the year. Uh, I was not really expecting to, to, to come here as a uh, number four seed, but I'm very happy. I was, I'm very grateful to play on this road level arena. It's my first win here, so I'm very happy. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, a little apology for the length of this next question, but I think it's important for the fans here to get an understanding of what's happened in the last 12 months for you. This time last year, you were in the first round. I believe you were set in 5-3 up against yeah. Hayley Baptiste. We don't want to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were 70 in the world, and then everybody was wondering what was happening. After that, you subsequently obviously won Roland Garros. Uh, you won four titles. You made the semifinals the first ever time you made the semifinals of a Grand Slam at the US Open. And then, to top it all, you were the best player in the world at the elite event in Fort Worth as well. You're now four in the world. I mean, what has happened? What a year. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, we always say things can go very quickly, I guess, in one way and another. Uh, the beginning of the year and the couple of years were very tough. And uh, I have to deal with a lot of injuries. And then, you know, sometimes when you don't do good and you feel under pressure, uh, you judge yourself too harshly as well. But uh, it's tough. But uh, I got a good team behind me who really helped me at the beginning of the season to, to get healthy again, to, to enjoy what I was doing on court. And uh, the support was very, very important. And uh, I'm very grateful for that. And then one week after another, I, I enjoyed playing tennis again I was like I want to go forward I want to make winner I want to go to, to the net and um, it's the best way I play tennis so I'm trying to to keep going that way obviously today was a bit stressed at the beginning so it's not the best uh, um, game style when you're stressed but it's the way I enjoy to play tennis and I want to keep going that way and we love watching you play that way too nice. thank you and just finally You've got a tough second round. These Grand Slams are not easy to win. They're not easy to get even to the semis like you did in New York. You take on Leila Fernandez in the next round. You haven't played her before. She's been to the final of the US Open. Not an easy one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, if you want to go all the way in a tournament or in a slam, you have to beat some tough player first round, second round, or it, it, at the, um, the last matches. So I guess I will have to be really into the second round already. And it's a, it's a good test, good challenge. That's why the, uh, we want to play and we want to go far in the tournament. I said last question, but you've been coming here for 10 years to Melbourne. What will you do on a day off? I don't believe you're playing doubles this time, are you? No, I'm not playing doubles, so tomorrow I have some time off, so I don't What's know. What's your favourite thing to do? Um, I, th I saw a picture of a player who went to the Maybourne Library, and it looks very nice, so maybe I'll go to a coffee shop and I go somewhere. It's too hard to, to go outside. Bit of culture for you. Congratulations and good luck for your second round. Thank you.